Hey, what's going on guys? Dopes Warner here, and before I even get into this, huge shout out to my buddy Eric, um, who always seems to hit me up when there is big news in the modding scene, which is awesome because I have absolutely not been staying on top of it. And this morning he sent me the link to this article, which basically says release fully operational DL close exploit plus Linux for PS4 by KR105. And um, ironically, I just got rid of my PS4 this week. However, this is you have to have a PS4 on seven or 1.76, or I believe before, um, to be able to run this exploit. So it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but just kind of ironic. Um, so yeah, basically, I don't know if, whether I should really go through the whole thing. I'll link you guys in the description. But essentially, um, this is a full exploit that uh, it says. Okay, so I'll just read this part right here. So what was just released? Uh, a fully functional DL close exploit. The exploit had been released about a week ago and several people had been able to take it further but there were still issues on how the publicly available code was working crashing as soon as the exploit was attempting to run to user land kr105's release fixes all of that it includes root sandbox escape and jailbreak this exploit is what you'll want to run uh, your native code on a 1.76 ps4 um, an auto update to PS4 Playground to run Linux, another missing link here, that will let people launch Linux without having to write their own loader. The launcher integrates the DL close exploit, if I understand correctly, from the readme. So there's the readme. Um, and it has a compiled distro of Linux for the PS4. KR105 has the files, BZ image, and Initram FS, I remember that, ready for anyone to grab so you don't have to compile your own version. In his words, those files should get you into Linux with a nice bash console on your TV. Um, so yeah, it has the downloads, so you can download the exploit, you can download the latest version of PS4 Playground from uh, CTURT's GitHub and the compiled Linux files here. Uh, update is pointed out by CTURT, you can simply download the compiled Linux files, put them on a FAT32 USB stick uh, that you'll connect to your 1.76 PS4 PS4 and test directly by going to the PS4 Playground Live demo. So that is insane. That's a lot of stuff. Um, just the ability to run Linux on the PS4 is huge, and people are basically speculating that hopefully this will uh, open up more doors and windows and um, potentially lead to things like downgrading or um, a little bit better understanding of the PlayStation 4 console. So anyways, I will uh, link you guys to this page here, which then has the links to all the stuff you will need if this is something you want to do. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this and whether you have a 1.76 PS4 and we'll be trying this out. Let me know how that works out for you. And on that note, I will end the video. Once again, Eric, thank you very much. Dope Swanner, and I am out. Peace, guys.